Yo, Darius Pritt here. Let's talk about movie titles. So obviously movie titles are super important. Your title alone can make or break your film. Your title is the first thing that people are going to experience about your movie or your script, so you better make that sucker rock. Just saying. First off, your title is a sales tool, so it's got to help you market your project. For example, if you send your script to a screenplay competition, these people called script readers are going to read it. The last thing you want is for one of these script readers to get to your script, read the title, and be like, uh, and then take your script with the uninteresting title and move it to the bottom of the pile. It happens more often than you think. You want your title to grab his attention and be like okay if your movie makes it onto Netflix or some other video streaming site, you really want that title to stand out. When Random Joe finishes watching Ninja Cheerleaders from Mars or something like that, and he starts surfing through his recommended movies list, and he stumbles onto your title, you want him to go interesting, and then hopefully proceed to check your movie out. When you tell your friends you're working on a movie and they ask you, well, what's it about? You want to be able to sick that movie title on them and make them go, oh, okay, well, I want to know more. If someone hears nothing else about your movie but the title, that title should grab their attention, say something about the movie without saying too much, communicate genre, hint at some kind of tension or some type of conflict, and hopefully it should be memorable. That title should make a direct appeal to whatever the target audience is going to be. For instance, Toy Story. Obviously a kid's title. A Bug's Life. Obviously a kid's title. Scream. Sounds like a horror film. Probably for the horror audience. Strippers vs. Zombies. Well, Anybody who loves a good B-movie is probably going to check that out. Now, not every story is going to lend itself to a movie title that will hit all of these criteria, but the more of these points you hit, the better. Keep it simple. Don't get too clever. You've got about this much time to get someone's attention. You don't want them thinking about it a whole lot. You want them to just get it right away. They say, you know, keep your movie title short, but uh, that depends on the individual. Shorter titles tend to be easier to remember, like... Jaws. But there have been some kick-ass movies with long titles, like Don't Be a Menace to Society While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. It's just so long and silly it's memorable. Don't pick movie titles that are abstract or complicated because if people don't get it or it doesn't have some type of immediate appeal, they're moving on. Coming up with a good title before you write the script can be a great source of inspiration. As a matter of fact, some writers come up with the title before they write the story, the characters, and the plot because it helps them kind of crystallize their ideas about what the story is or will be about. Some producers like to brainstorm catchy movie titles that you can imagine on a poster and then once they come up with it they build the entire story around it. Now movies that are made this way they're not always the best movies, but hey, everybody's got their own process. Paul Thomas Anderson's movie, There Will Be Blood, was originally going to be titled Oil. Now, if these two movies were in the same theater side by side, which one would you have gone into? <clears throat> I'll answer it for you. Probably There Will Be Blood. It's much more exciting and it's much more engaging. Oil? Eh. It's a little weak. Francis Ford Coppola's movie, Apocalypse Now, was originally going to be titled The Psychedelic Soldier. The Psychedelic Soldier sounds like a cheesy B movie, whereas Apocalypse Now, it's ominous and it's exciting and it's it matches the tone of the movie a lot better. I noticed that there are kind of like three categories of titles. There are poetic titles, there are catchy titles, and then there are direct titles. Poetic titles tend to rely on the marriage of words to grab your attention. The title itself doesn't always tell you about the movie or the premise of the movie. It just kind of seduces you with the wordplay. For example, No Country for Old Men, Ain't Them Body Saints, Winter's Bone, Requiem for a Dream, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. These titles don't always communicate genre or tell you much about the movie, but they kind of work because they're just so damn cool sounding. No Country for Old Men tells me nothing about the movie but it sounds cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a movie that's called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil? That just sounds intense as hell. Catchy titles are just that. They're catchy because they're so damn clever. And they kind of tell you what the movie's about and the premise, and they usually kind of hint at the genre. For example, 50 First Dates, Back to the Future, Legally Blonde. How do you go on 50 First Dates? Catchy. Probably a romantic comedy. It is a romantic comedy. How do you go back to the future? Sounds like it's a sci-fi with time travel. Catchy. Legally Blonde. Definitely a comedy. Ah, I get it. It's a pun off Legally Blind. Catchy. Direct titles are pretty straightforward. I mean, they literally spell it out for you. You know exactly who you're following or what you're going to see more or less. The title is usually a person's name, a location, or an event. For example, Aaron Brockovich, Elysium, Elevator, Jaws, The Wrestler, Gladiator, Psycho, Sin City, The Exorcist, Taxi Driver, Hobo with a Shotgun. See what I mean? The Wrestler. Probably about a wrestler. Elevator. 
Where is this movie gonna take place? Probably in an elevator. Hobo with a shotgun. Probably about a hobo with a shotgun. If you use a direct title, it probably helps if the someone or the something that the title is about is exciting. Just saying. Totally normal to have a working title and then you change it later. The, the name of my first feature film was called Seafood Tester, but then when a lot of people thought that it was a documentary about a poor schmuck who tested seafood for a living, which the movie is completely not about at all. It's about a serious hardcore drama based on a true story covering topics about mental health then it became abundantly apparent that we should change the title. So I changed it to Unsound, which is much more telling of what the story is actually about. It hints at the drama, which is the genre of the movie, and it's direct. It has a direct appeal to the audience that it's meant for. No guessing games. Whatever audience that your movie is meant for, please just make sure that the title has a direct appeal to that audience. Don't make them think about it. <sighs> Coming up with a title can be tough and there's nothing worse than when you finally come up with the perfect title that has like the perfect marriage of words and communicates exactly what you want it to communicate only to find out that the title's already been taken. <sighs> It's a good idea to use Google AdWords or something similar like that to find out how much traffic the words in your title generate because if they generate a lot of hits naturally on their own, that's a plus. Having a title that people are highly likely to stumble on while they're searching things could be a good thing, just saying. And last but not least, make sure your title's not giving people the wrong idea. Test it out on family, test it out on friends, test it out on strangers. If you can or you have the resources, get a focus group together, but just test it out. Well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like or subscribe. If you wanna get a hold of me on Facebook or Twitter, bam, there's some links and, uh, you know, drop me some comments, do whatever you wanna do. It's all about you. That's it, deep it out. Yo, Darius Pritt here, and today is all about the five qualities of a good filmmaker. So making a film is tough enough as it is, and making a good film is even tougher. Good filmmakers tend to make good films, and here are the...